How's it going everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. That time of year is back. It's Notre Dame football time. And this will be my 11th season of previewing and recapping games here on YouTube. I cannot believe it's been that long. It just it doesn't seem real. Feels like just yesterday I started doing this thing. Well, first off, as I'm sure you guys probably have noticed, I am back to a familiar place. Uh, that is back to filming in my car. It is only temporary though, so don't get the wrong idea. See, the thing is, guys, this last month has been pretty stressful for me. I'm currently in the process of moving, and without just sparing the formalities here, uh, the desktop is currently packed up and ready to move to the new place. Um, so the first couple of games, this is what you guys are going to get. But um, the main thing is I'm here and I'm making videos. That's all that matters. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have the, the, the desktop set up in, in no time once uh, I get moved into the new place. And also I got to get a new cord for my microphone as well. So, uh, so yeah, the first few games will be here in the car. But enough of that. Let's get down to business. First game of the year for the Irish. They head down to Louisville, Kentucky to take on the Louisville Cardinals. Now the last time we met up with the Cardinals, it was 2014. That was the first ever matchup between these two teams. And... Louisville came out of there with a victory that day in South Bend. And I remember watching that game. That was a game the Irish should have won. Never should have let that slip away, but we did. But this time around, things are different. Uh, Louisville is uh, a little bit on the downside, and Notre Dame is uh, in a pretty uh, well-set position. But I'll get, to, I'll get to that in just a second. Now, Louisville, they have a new coach. Um, Scott Scatterfield, I think is his name, uh, used to co coach at Appalachian State. Um, he's going to have his hands, his uh, work cut out for him in his first season because Louisville, a pretty uh, abysmal season last year. Uh, defense was not good. Not saying that they can't improve in one offseason, but it's going to be tough to rebound from giving up 50, 60, 70 points a game. Not saying you can't improve, but it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a breaking year for uh, for Coach Scatterfield. Um, the Irish, uh, I do have a few concerns with them, but for the most part, a lot of our key guys are pretty set in stone. Ian Book at quarterback, um, J Jafar Armstrong, and Tony Jones going to get the be the leaders on the running game. But look for a lot of Jameer Smith, even with a broken arm. Look for him to get a, a significant amount of carries. Um, the O line is pretty well set in place. Um, but my concerns are this, the receiving game. We're going to be without Michael Young for a few weeks due to a broken collarbone. Kevin Austin, he's going to be out for the season due to uh, suspension. Um, our starting tight end, Cole Komet, he also suffered a broken collarbone, so he's going to be out for about, I think the average injury timeout for uh, a broken collarbone is like, what, four to, four to six weeks, maybe a little longer. I think they projected uh, him and Young both to be back before... Uh, in time for the Michigan game, so six games in. Uh, I could be, and these are just estimates, people, so don't uh, hold me to this. Um, so that's going to be a key, a key thing right there is the receiving game, and I'm not, I'm not concerned about really any of this. And I'll, I'll, I say the same thing about the defense too, because Brian Kelly and his staff in recent years, they've done a great job pulling in some pretty good talent, guys that can step in and play right away, even though they haven't seen a snap. Um, and we saw that last year. A lot of concerns coming in, not knowing where the talent was going to come from. Things turned out just fine. But, of course, uh, the only problem was is getting over that hump in the, in the playoffs where it really counts. So hopefully we can remedy that this year. But um, with the receiving game, expect a lot of guys like uh, Lawrence Keyes, who's going to be getting the start um, on, on Monday night. Uh, Lawrence Keyes, Joe Wilkins, Braden Lindsey. Expect a lot of these guys to get some significant reps and uh, get their first taste of some real some real action. And these first two games against Louisville and, and New Mexico, they're going to be big ones for all these young guys stepping in there and uh, stepping in right away uh, to really get some really get some experience heading into that game against Georgia. Um, but I think we'll be just fine though because uh, even though it's only practice, I've seen a few clips of these guys and I think we'll be all right. Um, and also, let's not forget Brock, Brock White stepping in at tight end for Cole Komet. Heard a lot of good, a lot of good things about him. Um, I think he's capable of getting the job done in that position. So overall, I'm not worried. It's just gonna—it's not a matter of that we have talent. It's just who are going to be the ones to put up the numbers. 
but obviously, you know, he got experience in Chase Claypool and Chris Fink, so I think we're going to be fine. Defensively, there's a few more concerns. Um, not so much for me. The off the, the defensive line, I I'm, I feel pretty good about. It's the linebacking core and the defensive backfield. But for the defensive backfield, it's more about the depth rather than the talent. I know the talent is there. It's just we're very thin at depth. Uh, we had one of our, our uh, key contributors just transfer to um, – oh, who did he transfer to? I think it was Georgia Tech, I believe. Um, and then the linebacking spot. Uh, aside from uh, – uh, aside from Asmir Bilal – I'm not exactly sure who the, the playmakers are going to be stepping in. I mean, we know who the starters are, but, you know, it's just a matter of finding out who uh, who's going to step up and make the plays. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good despite the, uh, the concerns. Um, I think we're going to be all right. We definitely outpower Louisville in this one. Now, Louisville, I will say this, they do have a very talented group of wide receivers. Uh, but they do have a first-time starting quarterback stepping in, so they might have a little uh, a little trouble getting chemistry started right away. Um, but you know we've seen that with a lot of teams; uh, they can establish that pretty quick. But still, though, and I'm not saying this because I'm a fan, but I really see us greatly overpowering Louisville in this one. Um, there might be a few mistakes and some flaws made on on our defense, so I given up. Giving up 17, 20 points isn't out of the ordinary, but we're pretty well established on offense to to not have to really worry about that too much. Um, so based on what we have in place already, I see the Irish winning this one by a final score of 45 to 20. Um, so I expect the Irish to feel pretty good after this first game to really get things going, um, and it should be a nice uh, a nice way to get the season started. But of course. As I've said many times in the past with any team that we play, never, never, never sleep on anybody. Because those teams that you think you might be able to handle, they're the ones that can come back and bite you in the ass. So we cannot sleep on anybody. Um, but a lot of talent in place. I hate to see it go to waste. So don't sleep on anybody. Big or small, doesn't matter. So Notre Dame 45, Louisville 20. Uh, I know this wasn't much. A lot of my previews really aren't. But in this one in particular, there's going to be a lot of new faces, so it's just a matter of seeing uh, what the new faces can do. Um, so there you go, guys. That is my first preview for the 2019 Notre Dame football season. Hope you guys have got something out of this, uh, at least a little bit anyway. <laughs> you got to shake out the rust every year. That's just how it is. It's new for me too. So with that said, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 I look forward to another great season bringing you guys videos. And as always, God bless and go Irish, baby! Beat Cardinals!